Okay. Well, on day three here, and today pretty much <laughs> all I got done was really uh, work out the the um, as you can see these that one kind of in the shade. Every one of these these little connections for the aluminum bracing were a little bit different. I had to do something different on every one of them and figure it out as I went. Um, let me get around here so you can see this one. This one. Uh, it's not too too cloudy. Anyway, this one I attached to the front of the of the uh, seat. You can see that one over there. Pretty much the same thing. And then there's there's little there's little pieces that'll go in between all of these to help uh, stabilize them. They not that they would actually turn, but uh, just to make sure it gives a little bit of extra support. And I won't have any any supports going down to the bottom of the boat it won't be necessary um, one thing I always want to consider is a, is the strength in the sides of the boat when you're building decks and that way if you kind of incorporate all of that you don't have a lot of issues with having to put center supports all the way down to the to the uh, bottom of the boat. It leaves you a lot more room for for storage when you're building um, hatches and and the like and you don't have to dodge them and all that kind of thing. So and there's the live well. It's on I took the lid off of that today and kind of got it somewhat prepared. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna run to the store and grab some. <laughs> I gotta tell you, my dog on <laughs> my three sixteenths rivets are too long. <laughs> so I gotta go get some shorter ones. And then I'll come back and I'll probably, if it's too dark, I'll I'll photograph the the finished braces in the morning, so you can see those. But she's coming along, and the decks sit on there pretty good. I have one out here that I was using to set that front brace up, get it lined up in the proper height. Oh, one other thing, if you see screws in there, you're right. And the reason for that is because what's going to happen is after this framework is done, it'll be able to be removed by just taking out uh, sheet metal screws, stainless steel sheet metal screws. They're coated and and uh, that way you can just take the whole framework out if you have to. I don't know why I did it that way. I probably never take it out but but um, I did just in case. So So that pretty much sums it up for the moment. He's coming along.